have another candle and I have my lighter. Fire alarm is still there and I'm probably gonna set it on. But you girl like candles. Don't let me drown. What's going on you lot? Like, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Today's video is another tag video. So today I'm doing the PTSD tag. I didn't know this was a thing. I did not know this was a thing. Before we jump into the video, I quickly want to add this. I'm not a professional, nor am I trying to be a professional. I am simply someone talking from experience and sharing my own story. I've got no intentions on being a professional and nothing I say in this video or any of my other videos should be taken instead of professional advice. If you are struggling, please reach out for support. Oh, and that, let's get on with the video. Number one, what is the cause of your PTSD? So I'm diagnosed with complex PTSD. What triggered off my PTSD for me was witnessing a Suicide. and then exposure to death. I kind of remembered all my childhood after that. It's kind of hard to explain but my childhood was traumatic. There was a lot that went on. Then I lost my ex to suicide and um, he killed himself in front of me. I've made a video before talking about this and then this year I lost my friend to suicide. Suicide for me is a big trigger and uh, life is hard with it. It is hard. Number two, when were you diagnosed and are you in treatment? I was diagnosed with PTSD when I was uh, 17 I think. I, I think when I was 17 I was diagnosed. Uh, am I in treatment? I take medication at the moment. I'm not currently doing any therapy. My medication is for a variety of different mental health issues and I've talked about it in previous videos but just a quick rundown of what I take. I take venlafaxine, trazodone, thiopine, clonazepam, lorazepam and zopiglone. I'm not going to give explanations as to why I take that combination. I just do. Three, who knows about it? The internet. <laughs> Everyone. The internet. My mom, my grandparents, everyone in my life knows about it. What are your symptoms? So I have flashbacks, I have nightmares, I have very intense anxiety, it caused my depression. You know, it's a minefield. <laughs> symptoms are it, it really is i'd say the biggest ones though for me are flashbacks depression anxiety and my anxiety comes a lot around getting trains going out in public and having friends and getting close to people that's like a lot of what the anxiety is number five what's the hardest part of living with it the hardest part for me about living with it oh, i'm getting cold and i'm in the middle of filming here again the hardest part about living with it is knowing that nothing can change it it's a it's there. I'm not ready to do therapy for it. And um, I think that for me, that's the hardest thing. The flashbacks can be very debilitating. Coping skills. So for me, I do rely on medication for it. I'm not gonna meet around the bush, I do. But distraction, really. Distraction is the main and only coping skill I can really think of from the top of my head. Um, avoiding triggers, you know, a lot of different things. A misconception of PTSD, that only people who get a war can have it or that People who are young can't have it. That is one of the biggest misconceptions and one of the things that irritates me the most is when someone turns around to me and says, you're too young to have PTSD. You didn't get to war. You can't have PTSD. It's like, since when did mental illness have an eight? Like, please point to me in the DSM, the diagnostic manual, where it states that to have PTSD, you have to be a certain age. What would you like to say to others? What would you like to, question number eight, sorry. What would you like to say to others with a condition? One, you're not alone. It, it's hard. It, it is really hard to deal with and live with and I think this video shows that. Third days are coming. So I've got this video. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My left ear has just gone. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video with that. <laughs> Bye guys.